Shalom to everyone. Happy weekend. It's Sunday over here in Canada at Matkolimlim Day. So it's been raining for a few days this week. At medyo malalik na nga ang panahon. So dahil summer is over. So uh, tapos na yung summer, fall na dito. Kaya medyo malamig na yung panahon ngayon. So speaking of cold weather, meron akong naisip na ipapakita sa inyo today. Kasi mostly sa atin, pag malamig yung weather, gusto natin humigop ng mainit na sabaws. Ipapakita ko sa inyo today how to make my chicken soup with green papaya. Alright so, guys, I'm going to show you the ingredients for this chicken soup recipe. So guys, I have the green papaya here. So this green papaya from Asian store last week. It was very fresh, but now it looks a little bit. But I think it's just the skin, not bad. Still fresh inside. I just keep this in the fridge for one week. And yeah, so that's the green papaya. So that's one of the ingredients that I'm going to cook tonight. This is how it looks like inside. So we have to peel off the skin and also cut into like big bite size or I don't know how to say or chunks, something like that. But so for my um, foreign viewers, so this is how we clean the papaya inside. So we remove, we remove the seeds and uh, um, the core here. Oh. Yeah, something, there's something here that we need to remove like this. This one. Yeah. And so we have also to scrape the inner part of the, you know, with the, with the seeds. Okay. Just scrape it with a spoon. And so we just remove, um, using the pillar we peel the skin. I think it's easy to peel the skin first before you cut it. Yeah, that's what I think. I used to peel the vegetables or fruit with knives. So it doesn't really matter if you use For me, it's it's faster to use knife. Okay, so and then so we cut it into like this size, like that, like this size. Okay. It's already washed before I cut. I prefer to use the knife while peeling the skin. It's easier for me. Then just scrape the flesh there. It's the inner part of this. I don't know how it goes, but this is how you take this off. Again. 
Guys, I cut the papaya into this size. Like this. So that's the papaya. Okay, so the next ingredient is um, capsicum leaves or bell pepper leaves or pepper leaves. So these um, pepper leaves are from the garden. So I planted this pepper um, this summer but it was quite late. I think that was um, mid of July. So these leaves, this plant was from this red pepper so it was from the kitchen planted the the seed straight away to the garden and it was because it's late so it did, didn't grow that much so obviously it didn't bear fruit like this so if you don't have um, pepper leaves or chili leaves um, just use spinach okay so I'm going to take out the leaves, um, discard the stem, so we just only use the leaves. So our third ingredient is malunggay leaves so we call this malunggay in philippines but in english it's called moringa leaves guys i washed the leaves before taking out from um these stems so i'm gonna show you how we do it So actually to prepare this takes time. this we have to take the leaves from the very fine um, stick this we have to take out the leaves from this tiny stem Easy to take out the leaves when it's dry because you want to stick in your hands. It's fine. It's so, guys, I hope you're gonna like my recipe today. This um, might be something new for some of you that is not familiar with Filipino. Delicious.
And guys, our fourth ingredient is ginger. So we're gonna use a thumb size of ginger, cut into, peeled off the skin and slice into thin slice. All right, so facts about ginger. You know guys, I love to use ginger and lemongrass. So the six ingredients also lemongrass, but I'm gonna talk about lemongrass later on. Ginger is a very healthy spice. It has a bioactive um, compound that's called gingerol or six gingerol helps um, the body to heal. So it is anti-inflammatory and also antioxidant. And um, it's good for it is good for osteoarthritis. It's good for nausea and for indigestion and also good for um, for common colds so if you have a sore throat ginger is really good if i have a sore throat i usually uh, make a fresh ginger tea and put some lemon and honey in it and um, yeah it's really helpful um, it's also good to reduce the um, blood sugar levels in your body so our fifth ingredient guys is lemongrass so I'm gonna be using two stalks of lemongrass so again like ginger lemongrass has lots of benefits in our body uh, lemongrass also helps to prevent fever and swelling and also it's really good for um, tummy cramps during during your menstrual cycle and like ginger it also helps your body to lower your um, blood sugar and cholesterol in the body so very interesting isn't it I love to use spices and herbs in my cooking and also um, I'm also learning about their benefits to the body yeah. so we have to cut this into three inches and uh, smash or I don't know how it called crush so that um, you know the essential oils will come out from this so uh, in Asia, this is very common to use this lemon dressing cooking, especially in curry. So we cut this um, white part and um, use to blend. So we blend them in, with other spices to make curry paste and I made one before. So I used this with my green, my homemade green curry paste. So, I love these two. I love to use them in cooking when it comes to Asian recipe. So, the ginger and lemon curries. So, despite of their sweet aroma, I love their benefits. And also, don't forget our main ingredients in this soup, in this recipe. This is 1 kg of chicken thighs with bones. Alright guys, let's start cooking. So we're gonna use 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Alright, so let's put add in our Okay, 
is adding our lemongrass. Alright, I like to just to saute all the spices before putting the meat in so that the meat will absorb the flavor. And I like to saute it in a slow fire and low heat and let the essential oils come out. And later, you can, if you don't like to eat the ginger, you can discard it. And also lemongrass, obviously we have to discard it. So while it's in low heat, I'm going to put the lid on and let it like simmer or one minute. So once you can smell the aroma of the spices, add in your chicken. So once you added the chicken, you turn the heat into medium heat or high. And saute it until the chicken gets into lightly brown. So now I'm gonna add in salt. like a teaspoon of salt to it because I'm not using fish sauce or chicken broth so I like to add, add in salt in the meat while frying it or sauteing it so that the meat will absorb the taste
so while sauteing it, I am boiling some water to add in once the chicken get lightly brown and it's almost ready to put the, the water in. Don't get surprised if I'm gonna put uh, more salt in here because I don't uh, I am not using chicken stock or chicken cubes and I don't even have fish sauce I'd like to use the fish sauce in here because of the smell very fishy I'm not saying I don't like the fish sauce I like fish sauce but in this recipe I just don't want to use the fish sauce So we need 12 cups or um, so we need 12 to 15 cups of water in here and since the chicken is ready I'm gonna pour the hot water in. The secret to to use hot water is because to save time from boiling it. So now it's boiling. And I'm still boiling another. <laughs> I'm still boiling some water to add in here to to add into the pot because like the water is not enough. And later we have to add in our green papaya. in our green papaya. Thank you. 
Alright, so put the lid on and simmer it for 5 minutes before adding some of before adding the leaves. soy sauce. So this is my um, chicken canola or ginger lemongrass chicken soup with green papaya. So we don't want to overcook the leaves. Once the, the, the green papaya are soft, then we add in the leaves together, the chili leaves and or the bell, bell pepper leaves and malunga leaves or moringa leaves together. Turned off the heat so let the leaves cook or just wilt in its soup and it's ready to serve serve it with rice and that's my chicken tinola guys Obviously, we don't. We can't eat the lemongrass because it's huge, right. and it's up to you to eat the green chili or not, or you can discard it. Alright, guys, that's for today. And if you like this recipe, if you like my video, please don't forget to like. Comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and don't forget to hit the bell to get you notified for more videos. So thank you so much for watching. Bye!